Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a huge book unhaul. So I mentioned in my most recent book haul that I was going to do a book unhaul because I've taken 40 books off of my shelves to be given away to charity for the most part. And basically what I've been doing for the past few months now is every time I buy a new book I take one away to be unhauled. So the new one replaces the old. Basically because I want to do an updated bookshelf tour at some point but when I look at my shelves they didn't used to feel like they were mine. There used to be a lot of books on there that I read when I was a lot younger. And if I do a bookshelf tour, I wanted to represent me as a person rather than who I used to be or... I don't know, I just have books on there that I wouldn't necessarily pick up nowadays. So I've been swapping them out gradually over the past few months and now I've accumulated over 40 books to give away and... I need to actually start getting them out of my room because my room is just stacks of books everywhere as you can imagine. <laughs> but yes, I've tried to create some sort of organisation to this video but there are a lot of books to go through. If you think I'm going through the synopsis of every single book, you can think again. I'm not doing that, there's a lot of books. <laughs> so this will just be like a whistle stop tour of the books I'm getting rid of but hopefully it's interesting anyway so yeah, let's do this. <laughs> So the first few books that I'm going to go through I've actually only got the titles written down because some of my university friends wanted them so I happily gave them away to them. So I'll just put the cover on this side. <laughs> but those books were It's Kind of a Funny Story, This Is What Happy Looks Like, Me, Earl and the Dying Girl, I'll Give You the Sun, Eleanor and Park, The Sale in Witch Society and Truth or Dare. So now on to the books that I actually have with me. As you can see there's a lot. There's also some down here which you can't see but you will see them in a bit. <laughs> So the first stack that I've created are books that I read quite a few years ago and just won't ever pick up again. A lot of these were sent to me for review back in the old day when my blog first started so quite a lot of them were unheard of but we're just going to quickly go through them anyway. So we have Just A Few Inches by Tara St Pierre. I can never get over how bad this cover is. <laughs> I feel awful for saying it but this is the worst photoshop I've ever seen. Which is saying a lot because I've tried my hand at Photoshop and that wasn't exactly the nicest experience. <laughs> the Tormented Witch by JC Beckham. Blue Sun and Dark Waters by Tracy Abreu. Beneath Wandering Stars by Ashley Cowles. The Alfarian Legacy by Mark Jacobs. Isn't that a perfume or a designer or something? <laughs> Naming the Stars by Susan Cofard. The Future of the Past by C.S. Morgan. Like a Dream by Sheena James. The Messenger of Athens by Anne Zaraudi. Possessed by Nikki Valentine, Sacrificial Magic by Stacey Akane, Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong, P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Rohan, and If I Stay by Gail Foreman. The next few books I actually haven't read but I can't imagine myself ever getting to and they've been on my shelves for well over a year now so I'm just gonna get rid of them. But we have The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest by Steve Larson. Now, I can imagine myself reading this one one day, but like in the very far future and I don't want to keep them just in case I don't. Especially because this is the third book so I'm missing the second one and this one is huge. Like, this is such an inconvenience to have on my shelves that I'm just getting rid of them. We also have The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, which is actually JK Rowling under a pseudonym. I picked this up because it was JK Rowling and then I realised that it's just Harry Potter that I'm a fan of, not J.K. Rowling herself, so this one's going. And then Here We Are Now by Jasmine Warger, which was sent to me unsolicited by a publisher last year, and again, it doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'll read, so I will give it to someone else who will read it. And now for the final but largest section of this haul, which is the series, and a lot of these are really popular young adult books that I used to love, but not so much anymore. So the first series that I'm getting rid of is the entire City of Bones series by Cassandra Clare. From the series we have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire. That is a lot of cities. <laughs> I was trying to decide for so long whether to actually get rid of that series or not because I feel like it's the sort of series I'll want to return to in the future out of nostalgia. But I actually think that that series, if I did return to it in the future, I probably wouldn't like it that much anymore. But I have kept the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare because that is set in Victorian London. It has the same sort of 
nostalgia attached to it that the City of Bronze series does. So I've kept that trilogy and I'm getting rid of the City of Bronze series instead. Onto the other series we have the Maradaya trilogy which is The Unbecoming of Maradaya, The Evolution of Maradaya and The Retribution of Maradaya. When I started reading the series I did absolutely love it but by the time I got to the final book I absolutely hated it. I thought the final book was absolutely ridiculous and it kind of just ruined the entire series for me so I'm getting rid of them. <laughs> Next up we have Shatter Me and Unravel Me by Tahira Mafi which again when I read Shatter Me I absolutely loved it but then by the time I got to read the second book I didn't like it that much and I don't, I'm never going to continue the series further than that because like I said didn't like the second book so these two are going. Next up we have the Legend series by Mary Lou which is Legend, Prodigy and Champion. Again I enjoyed these when I was younger, if I read them now probably wouldn't. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Next up we have the Anna and the French Kiss trilogy by Stephanie Perkins which includes Anna and the French Kiss. Lola and the Boy Next Door and Isla and the Happily Ever After. Again this is a series that I debated getting rid of for so long because it wasn't actually that long ago when I reread Anna and the French Kiss and read the other two for the first time and I actually did enjoy Anna and the French Kiss and Isla and the Happily Ever After but even though it was only about a year ago when I read these my taste has changed so much since then that I think if I reread them again now I wouldn't enjoy them all that much. So I'm getting rid of these and I was debating doing a giveaway for these because I do have the entire trilogy as a set and we'll soon be in the summer months which is the perfect time to read this sort of series but I know it's kind of an outdated series so I don't know, I am I might just give them away as they are. And finally we have the Laura Jean trilogy by Jenny Han so that is To All The Boys I've Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You and Always In Forever Laura Jean. Now I'm definitely doing a giveaway for this trilogy over the next few months because again they're the perfect summer reads but there's also a movie coming out for the series so I feel like the interest will be peaked once again. I do think that this is still a really popular series to this day. I did really love the first book when I read it but again once I got to the second book I didn't like that all that much. The second and third book were actually sent to me by the publisher and while I read the second one I don't have any intention in finishing the trilogy and I feel really bad for holding them on my shelves unread now that they've been sent to me. So I am going to be doing a giveaway for someone who will actually read these. So yeah, the final trilogy. <laughs> but that's it for my book unhaul. Quite a lot of books <laughs> and it's going to take me quite a few months to actually get rid of these from my bedroom and give them away to a charity shop but you know that's a thing I've got to work on because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be another one of these videos for a while because I've got rid of a lot of books now and for the most part I am happy with my bookshelves as they are. But yes, I'd love to know your thoughts on this video, whether I ended up getting rid of any of your favourite books. I apologise if I did, but we can't all like the same books. <laughs> or just your thoughts on any of these books in general because, you know, I have my reasons for getting rid of them. So I want to know what your opinions are in relation to that, if that makes sense. But other than that, I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,